How y'all doing that water, hey? Yeah. Gotta keep his spirit alive, because I know he was one of the visionaries, along with our mayor, Murray Bowser, who had this vision in their heart that's coming to fruition today. Uh, I also want to start off by saying, acknowledging our council members, Jack Evans, Brandon Todd, Kenya McDuffie, uh, former council member, uh, where is she, LaRuby May? They say she's over there, I haven't seen her yet, but LaRuby May, and our former, former council member, Ms. Sandy Allen. Give them a round of applause as well. We had a great year here in Washington, D.C. I also want, I don't want to forget our, our former mayor for life's wife, Ms. Cole Mastersbury, joined by a friend of mine, Ms. Dion Reeder. Give him a round of applause for joining us here today. How about those mystics? How about those mystics? Give me your name and stand up, guys. And how about those mystics? How about those mystics? And I play basketball right where I used to. I, I wouldn't dare. You know, I'm one of those guys that offer you up all the time and may, I may or may not win, but I'm not afraid. <laughs> How about those capitals, guys? Stand up. I'll tell you. It's put a lot of pressure on the wizards. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. I sent John Wall a message last night in his DM saying, man, what's good? My son, who's right here, my nephew, they love to come to the game. We gotta get that, we gotta get to the finals. Get past LeBron, you know, they done stacked the deck against us once again. Since February. 19, 2016, there has been 946 days of nonstop energy, time, commitment to seeing this project come to fruition. I often follow a scripture in the Bible, I think it's Proverbs 29, 18, it says, where there's no vision, the people perish. And so this is what we call big vision. I'm going to say it again, this is what we call big vision. And it's happening right here in our own Ward 8. See, my family grew up here in Congress Heights. My grandmother, who passed away, her name is Jean Ann Roberts. She used to take us to Rehoboth Baptist Church right here across the street. I also played the number 11 Boys and Girls Club, and she also served in the cafeteria of Congress Heights Elementary School. And so this is my community, this is our community. The arena is truly an anchor in the community of wars, not just Ward 8, but also Ward 7. And for far too long, people did not want to invest here in our community. I want to give a special thanks to our Mayor, Muriel Bowser. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> Brian Kenner, our former Deputy Mayor, Tony Snowden, Greg O'Dell, Eric, Max, Ed, Teleonsis, Gil Bain, Smoot, Randy Bow, and a few, just to name a few, and our ANC Commission, I know Ms. Cutbirth is here, and it's, it's always going to keep us on point and keep us active in our community. And our former business director, Mr. James Bond, who also was a pioneer in showing that we have these type of opportunities. I walk on some great, great shoulders to do this today. If you walk along MLK and Malcolm X, you see a entirely different community. Those who are not engaged, disconnected, that need an opportunity. As we build these big buildings in our community, we must always remember to build on our people. I know Murray will always make fun of me for saying that, but we must always remember to build on the people that were here, the indigenous people of Washington, D.C. And so I'm excited to hear today that MLK Deli, who's ran by uh, Tyrone White, is going to have a business inside this facility. That's big, MLK Deli. I see our school board representative Marcus Bass is here as well. Then I hear uh, later on today, our own Miles Ross will have the Goodman League going on right here in this building today. While we have the big guys playing over here, Mayor Murray Bowser and I had a conversation a few years ago about the amount of recreation centers closing our war. And we partnered to make a commitment to build a new, brand new recreation center right here in Congress Heights, right across the street, to ensure our young boys and girls, our seniors, have somewhere to go for constructive activities. Because we get, when we don't build something for them constructive to do, we leave something for them to, to do destructive. And it's important in our vision that we have an all-inclusive community. And I want to thank our partners at Events DC. Uh, Greg, where's Greg? In the back. He's been a great guy, y'all. Yeah. Every time I call on Greg or call on Ed, they answer the phone and they make sure we get what we need in our ward. And so when I heard that we were having a Goodman League up here, 
I said, come on, Jimmy Black, we need you, baby. <laughs> we played, I think we played against Baltimore or New York, one of them, one of them cities, you know. I don't, want to, I don't want to throw no shade, but I do. One of, them, one of them locations. And so I'll be back here today, but I do want to say I'm grateful and I'm honored to lead this great war. And I want to thank so many who participated in it put up the brick and mortar, but we also we're not looking for jobs in the community only, but also looking for business opportunities. We have some great business people here in this ward that has participated and looking forward to participating even more. I want to thank, I was talking to Commissioner Crawford today, and she said, she said, she calls me Trey, I know it's in high school, so she's from Trey. She said, Trey, I want to buy a home here in Ward A. We want to further our commitment to show that not only can you live here, but you can stay here and benefit here in the long haul. And that's our commitment. This is our DC. This is our war. I want to thank everyone who joined us here today. More, more to come. Thank you and God bless.